Hey, welcome to uh, weight training with Mr. Wolf. Um, I'm really excited to get started on our on our body weight stuff today. Um, we're gonna take the time right now. I want to talk about how to perform a body weight squat. Okay, um, so I broke this down into a three-step process. I'm gonna talk you through the steps, and I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free and reach out. Let me know, um, and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay. Um, so number one, step one here, we're gonna set our feet about shoulder width apart. Our toes are gonna be slightly pointed out, okay? So what that looks like, let me adjust the video here so you can see my feet. Okay, what that looks like, if you can see my feet, is my feet are at least shoulder width apart. My toes are just slightly pointed out. I'm not, I'm not like this. Right, I'm not, my toes aren't pointed in. Okay, that's definitely a bad indicator. Um, basically, a good way to think about this in regards to doing it is if you jump and landed, the natural landing for this is probably where you're, about where your feet are. Okay, um, so my feet are about shoulder width apart. My toes are slightly pointed out. All right, step one there, okay? Step two is gonna be slowly bend the knees and drop your hips. To lower your body okay important cue here is to keep your heels flat on the floor all right so basically here i am if you can see i'm shoulder width apart with my feet okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to bend my knees and i'm going to drop my hips back right so i'm just going to show the very beginning of the movement i'll show the whole movement here at the end but i'm going to sit Okay, I'm gonna sit like this. And you can see I have this chair right here. I'm gonna use this as a, a, a training aid if you struggle with this and if you're a beginner, okay? Um, let me adjust this camera here. I notice we're a little off, so let's adjust. All right, okay, so step number three, at the bottom of the exercise, I'm gonna pause for a moment and keep another coaching cue. I'm gonna strongly push back up to the starting position, mirroring the descent. Okay, um, so what does this all look like, Mr. Wolf? How do I exactly do I do it? Okay, I'll show you two views. I'll show you a, a side view and a front view of the squat, right? So I'm gonna use this chair. If you're a beginner, um, I encourage you to use a chair or, or some form of, of, uh, of an object that's about 24 inches to 30 inches high, okay? So you can squat to what we're gonna call good depth, okay? All right, which is super important, especially when we start talking about more resistance training rather than just body weight. Okay, so my feet, again, are about shoulder width apart, all right? Um, my toes are slowly pointed out, okay? I'm gonna put my hands out in front of me. The other way you can do is you can cross your arms like this, okay? So my feet are shoulder width apart, toes slowly pointed out. The chair is behind me for you beginners. This is kind of a good safety item, um, and it also allows you to get to that good depth, okay? So I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna bend my knees, Bend my hips and I'm gonna come back up out of the bottom, okay? One more time from the side and then I'll show you from the front. I'm here, my hands go out in front of me. I sit back, drop my hips, bend at the knees, come back up, okay? Let's see, let's see it from the front view, okay? There's my chair right here. Again, feet are slight, our shoulder width apart, slight, toes are slightly bent out. I'm right here like this. I'm gonna sit and then come back up, okay? I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, until next time, let's get fit. Let's stay doing what we're doing.